Hey everyone, if you have a small server rack that has two, three, four servers in it, maybe five or so, and you want to know what the power usage is for each and every individual server as a diagnostic and a statistics tool, normally you'll be looking for a meter by outlet PDU for rack mount servers. And there's plenty of options out there, but oh my God, have you seen the freaking price for these things? Um, the cheapest one I could find here, I'll put a picture up, is, well, actually, not even, well, yeah, the cheapest version that you can find from APC is $1,575. And that's cheap. I mean, they go up to over $3,000. Now, if we look at another company, CyberPower, theirs is a lot more affordable, thankfully, at $719. But still, that is one heck of a chunk of change just to know how much power each one of your units is using, each one of your servers. Now, mind you, all these also usually have the ability to turn on and off each individual unit. So it does have switching per outlet as well, usually. And one more example of the exorbitant price is Eaton. They also have one, $1,132. That's the cheapest one I could find from this manufacturer. And this is meter by outlet and also switched by outlet. I believe so. Um, these prices are insane. So for someone who runs a small home lab, I have two servers right now, plus networking and other stuff. I would like to know how much power it's consuming. And I would like to be able to check on it from time to time and have the ability to turn it on and off manually or remotely if I need to. Uh, say the server uh, is frozen and I can't, get it to turn off. I can manually turn off that outlet and then turn it back on and power cycle the server. Well, I found an option for $90. Now, originally for power switching and everything, I was using these Zoos. I think that's how you pronounce it, Z-O-O-Z. -O -O -Z. Uh, this is a, uh, let's see here, Power Switch Zen 15. It's a single outlet, handles up to 15 amps, uh, you can turn the outlet on and off, and this works through Z-Wave, through my smart home system, and it will tell you how much power, how much energy, uh, the duration, all that good stuff. Uh, the problem is these are about $38 right now each on Amazon, and putting four or five of these things in a small rack is going to get kind of a jumble of wires, plus it will get a little pricey after a while. So the next step up, which is what I'm using now, and it works beautifully, is the Zoos Power Strip. Now I would open it up for you, and I will, but I've already installed it. So we're gonna check it out here in a second. But basically what this does, it's the same thing. You have five switches, five outlets that you could turn on and off remotely and it's monitored by each plug you can actually tell the amount of power energy duration and you can reset each individual one they work as five separate units all together and it's in one power strip again this is a 15 amp rated i believe let's see here um yeah, do, do not connect more than 15 amps between all five outlets. So this is a basically a regular power strip that you can stick into your uh, small rack and you can monitor each every server that you want to and be able to remotely turn them on and off if you need to for $80, oh sorry, $90, $89.95 as of right now on Amazon. So. Let's get off the desk and go over to the rack and show you this working. So now we're in the back of my little wall mounted rack here, 12U rack, and here is the Zeus power switch. I have it plugged in right down here in the back of my APC UPS. The power line wraps up, goes around and comes on over and gives you your five outlets. Now. I have my first server, Thanos, plugged in right there. You can see the blue light right behind it saying it's powered on. Second one, Nebula, blue light powered on. I'm not using the third and fourth right now. And the fifth one is just for testing and so I can show you this actually working right now is my color laser printer and blue. It is on right now for 
this right here, my color laser printer. So let me get my phone and we'll pull up my um, smart home. I'm using Hubitat for all my smart home stuff. And let's see if we can refocus here just a little bit and get in closer. There we go. So you'll see right here, I have Thanos server, Nebula server, networking, which I've never connected yet, uh, KVM, which I haven't connected yet, and network printer over here on the end. And we can see right now, Thanos is pulling 124.3 watts. Um, Nebula is pulling 50.8 watts. And energy meter, so far this month, Thanos has pulled 32.46 kilowatts. Nebula 11.12. Same deal here with the printer. In standby, it's pulling 13.2 watts. And it's used 2.59 kilowatts so far this month. Now, the third stop uh, buttons I have here are the power switches. So, let me get this in the right way. There. Now you can see the blue down there. Off. There. I just shut off the printer. It is completely off. It takes a few seconds for the Hubitat to catch on. Mm. Come on. There we go. Now it says off. So let's turn it back on and we should be able to hear the printer power back on. Actually, go up here. Yes, yeah, it hasn't even updated. This thing only updates about once every 30 seconds. So let's wait for it to update real quick. There we go. Power meter zero. And we turn it back on. You can see it immediately turned right back on. And we can hear and see the printer waking up down there now. And there we go. Now we can see that it's pulling 26.8 watts while it's just sitting there waiting for me to print something. So that's it for this video. Nice, quick, and a much cheaper option for a meter by outlet PDU that you can use for a small, like I have a 12U rack for a home server basically. So $90 versus $700 to $1,500, yeah. So thank you for watching. Thumbs up, please, if you like the video. Share and subscribe if you can. Uh, affiliate links and more information in the description below the video. And I will see you next time.